use your God power to get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. In this next video example, we will see how the unwitting belief of a doctor resulted in a miracle cure that would never have occurred otherwise. Video example, the case of the alligator skinned boy. What is this video about? In 1952, Albert Mason was an anesthesia specialist at the Queen Victoria Hospital in East Grinsland, West Sussex, England. A patient was wheeled in to be put under who looked like he had millions of warts covering his arms, legs, and feet. Mr. Moore, the surgeon on the case, had been unsuccessfully trying to graft skin from the 15-year-old boy's chest where there weren't any warts to his hands. The surgeon was quite displeased with the results that he was having. Mason, who remarked that he was rather young and cocky at the time, said to the surgeon, why don't you treat him with hypnotism? The surgeon replied, why don't you? And walked out of the room. Mason had used hypnosis on several occasions with great success to remove warts, so the next day he hypnotized the boy. While the boy was hypnotized, he gave the suggestion to the boy, the warts will fall off your right arm and new skin will grow there that is soft and normal. A week later, the boy returned with startling results. The pictures in the video are dramatic. The skin on the boy's arm went from a disgusting, blackened, and scabby mess to a normal bright colored skin like you would expect to see on any normal arm. They went to show the surgeon, Mr. Moore, but he was in surgery at the time. So instead, they stood outside the plate glass window and he held up the boy's two arms for the surgeon to see. The surgeon's eyes were as big as saucers. He came right out to see the results for himself. He had a closer look and said, Good God! Mason replied, I told you that warts go. <laughs> the surgeon replied, This isn't warts. This is a rare congenital disease that he was born with. It's incurable. What Albert Mason had done was considered impossible. This disease normally claimed its victims in early childhood, but this boy lived and is an old man today, living a normal life. After the news of his amazing success got out, he was inundated by requests of others who had the same disease, but he was unable to help any of them. None of them had responded like the young boy had. However, there is an explanation. In Albert Mason's own words, I now knew it was incurable. Beforehand, I thought it was warts, and I had a conviction, I can cure warts. I now knew it was incurable. Beforehand, I thought that it was warts, and I had a conviction that I can cure warts. His next words are the most powerful of all. He continues, after that first case, I was acting. I knew it had no right to get well. <laughs> and you know, I'm sure that was conveyed. After the first case, I was acting. I knew it had no right to get well. I'm sure that that was conveyed. Unquote. What does this example show? And what does it mean? This is a powerful example of how meanings are influenced and changed. This was a fortuitous set of circumstances that led to this boy's recovery. If any one thing had been different, it would not have occurred. 
Later on in this book, you will come to realize that nothing in this universe happens by accident. That every situation and event is elicited by resonance of meaning. More on that later. First, Dr. Moore, the surgeon, didn't tell Albert Mason that this disease wasn't curable. Next, he didn't correct him when Mason mistakenly identified the disease as warts. Third, Mason had great confidence in his ability to affect the healing of warts by hypnosis. As we explore this further, we will see that this example was a complex combination of meanings that worked perfectly. While under hypnosis, he told the boy that his right arm would heal and that new soft skin would grow in its place. Because Mason really believed his suggestion, he gave meaning to the boy that his right arm was already healing and how it would happen. First, it was the meaning of the actual disease generated by the chemical and physical properties it contained. Then, it was the meaning of the hypnosis session that conveyed that it was sufficient to heal his right arm only and that there would be no effect on the rest of his body. Your power comes from your knowing, or at least believing, in your own meanings. Mason was so convinced of his ability that it left no room for doubt to the boy, especially since he had the boy's undivided attention while under hypnosis. Hypnosis allowed Mason to bypass the boy's natural resistance and disbelief that he could be cured. This all resulted in a miraculous cure. However, once Mason found out that it wasn't warts and that it was incurable, he lost his confidence in his own ability to effect a cure. He was able to finish up with the boy because he already had some success that proved enough to him that he could be cured. However, when it comes to asserting meaning while under hypnosis, it is very important that the person who is asserting the meaning is confident in what they are saying. Because like any normal communication situation, if you are not confident in what you are saying, you will be giving off little clues in the way you say things or in the emotional content of your words, etc. It will show. When others with the same disease showed up to be cured, he couldn't make it work because he no longer believed in his own mind that the disease was curable. So, it wasn't. It is hard to convey a meaning that you don't believe in yourself. It always shows. For best results, pause this video at this point here and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. Okay, let's look at this other illustration here. Let's look at this next illustration. Okay, we got normal reality. Once again, normal reality only means they were going by the meanings already present. We're not taking any action to specifically change any meanings. We're just going by the meanings already present. So, first we got the meaning of the person. Then we got the meaning of a disease that's not curable. Okay, then we have the physical meaning that nothing was put in his system. There was no medicine. Then we have the physical meaning that there was no medicine at all. So what do you get? No cure. You have a disease that's not curable. No medicine applied, no medicine taken, no cure. Simple logic equation. Normal reality, meanings already present. Okay, now, now we have God power exercised by hypnosis. You have the physical meaning of the person. Then you have the thought meaning that the disease is curable. Then you have the thought meaning that medicine is not needed. Then you have the thought meaning that hypnosis can cure. So what do you get? You get a cure. That's a very simple equation. Disease that's curable, doesn't require medicine to be cured, hypnosis will cure it. You have hypnosis, guess what? It's cured. Very simple. 
Very simple meanings. Very simple logical results. Disease is curable with hypnosis. You have the hypnosis, it's cured. Simple as that. Now, the disease normally, with the normal meaning, wasn't curable. But with God power saying, I believe this disease can be cured. So as soon as the boy asserted that meaning, that this disease can be cured, then it could. Because it has nothing to do with the disease. Nothing. It only has to do with the meaning of the disease. And your God power changes meaning. So here he still had the disease at the moment, but he changed the meaning to can be cured with hypnosis. And so he had the hypnosis, so the meaning became will be cured. Simple as that. And so what do you get? You get a cure. Once again, only thing that matters is meanings. The only thing we have ever talked about is meanings. And notice that there isn't anything that we haven't been able to change the meaning of. We had a disease that was curable changed to an incurable disease. We had an incurable disease changed to a curable disease. We had medicines that would cure you and operations that would have cured you that the person died anyway because of a change in meaning. And we have other medicines such as the sugar pill <laughs> or no medicine at all which wouldn't have cured you but did cure you because of a change in meaning. Always it's about meaning. Always about meaning. Nothing but meaning. That's all that matters is meaning. And meaning is the one thing that you have the power to change. The God power. You have the God power to assign and assert and change meanings. Simple as that. Here it says in green, good meanings have been activated and are being elicited from the situation. He's got the green tuning fork of belief. He says, I'm going to be cured. Hypnosis is going to do it. So he has the hypnosis. And what happens? Look at all the green tuning forks being activated. He's eliciting healing. He's eliciting being cured. He's eliciting it from his body. His body is doing everything that's necessary for the disease to go away. And guess what? It just does. Now, the thing about it was no medicine was applied. And the disease went away. What does that tell you? That tells you that the only reason the disease was there was because it was a meaning that it was there. The only reason the disease was there is because there was a meaning keeping it there. And the moment you said that, that meaning no longer applied, it, it was now cured, then it was gone. Simple as that. Here it says the green tuning fork vibrations are positive meanings and they resonate and elicit all the things that will make him better. So he's activating them. He's resonating with everything it'll take to heal. And he's eliciting healing from his body. Now, the red tuning forks are the negative vibrations, negative meanings. And they resonate and elicit all the things that will make him worse. Now, we've already seen that in a prior example. The guy thought he was going to die. So he elicited what it took for his body to die. And he had no good reason to die. There was no disease that killed him. There wasn't any there. There wasn't anything that could have killed him. And yet he died. Because that's what he elicited. But in this case, the red tuning forks are quiet. They're not being elicited. They're not being activated. They're not vibrating. They might as well not even be there. Because all he's thinking about is I'm going to heal. He's eliciting it. And... He heals. Simple as that. Okay. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 1. Segment number 14. Let your quest for knowing continue.
options. Click on the tan arrow to go to the main course menu and guide with links to all course chapters, excerpts, and special reports. Or, click on the blue arrow to start watching the video, How to Use Your God Power. Or, click on the green arrow to start watching the video, The Meaning of Meaning. Up next, Special Video Options. And, hear how to download the course e-books, mp3 audios, videos, and the slideshows. Right now, for free. Now switching to the special video options menu. One moment please. Options menu. Click on your selection number or wait for the free download information coming up next. Fifteen seconds till we switch to the next page with the free download information. Pause the video now if you need more time to review the available selections. Now switching to the free download information. One moment please. Download all of chapter number one for free. What is your God power and how to use it? Available download formats include the Adobe PDF ebook with the transcript and closed caption files as well. MP3 audiobook, Windows Media Video, Slideshows, Flash Movie, and iPod MP4. To get these free downloads, go to the link listed below. Special Excerpts, Secrets of Life and Death. What is Incarnation? Download this special report for free. Available download formats include the Adobe PDF, ebook, MP3 audiobook, Windows Media Video, Slideshows, Flash Movie, and iPod, MP4. To get these free downloads, go to the link listed below. The three biggest lies of all time and why believing them could kill you. Download this special report for free. Available download formats include the Adobe PDF, ebook, MP3 audiobook, Windows Media Video, Slideshows, Flash Movie, and iPod, MP4. To get these free downloads, go to the link listed below. Chapter 5, Special Excerpts Number 1 Attracting What You Want Understanding Attraction, Including Special Techniques Download this special report for free. Available download formats include The Adobe PDF, eBook, MP3 Audiobook, Windows Media Video, Slideshows, Flash Movie, and iPod, MP4. To get these free downloads, go to the link listed below. How to Use Your God Power The Master's Course by Richard Lee McKim Jr. The entire course is available at Amazon.com in DVD-ROM format. 40 CD audio book and an 18 DVD set delivery by postal service and by immediate download as well go to amazon.com or use the direct link below to get all the how to use your god power 
course materials and products. Let your quest for knowing continue.